you a question. Did you know that one out of every four Americans have a sexually transmitted disease? So sad. So many people think, you know, it's never going to happen to me. I can personally tell you that a best friend of mine, her first time, ended up with herpes. Very sad. What's the overlying message? To get tested, to know your status. So before you actually lay down with someone, find out. Have you been sexually active? How many people? What have you been doing? Have you gotten treated for whatever it is that you got? There are diseases out there that you can cure and ones that you can't cure. So what are you going to do? At the end of the day, it's all about asking questions. Tell me some different questions that you should ask someone before you sleep with them. Okay, you down there. Okay. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question. You up there? All right. Okay, those are all very good questions. So at the end of the day, it's very important that you ask questions. Has anybody here ever been on a job interview before? Okay, you get pretty nice, right? You get dressed up, you look nice, you sit down, you ask the person questions. You might pull out a resume, they ask you questions. So why is it so, so easy nowadays for people to just go out and just sleep with anybody? Scary! Find out a person's last name, how about that? I have some individuals that tell me, well, you know, Ms. Roach, I, I don't feel comfortable asking these type of questions. So my question to you is, if you end up with a sexually transmitted disease, would you, would you then ask the question? Probably so. Okay, so it's very important that you ask different questions. On top of that, the different diseases that, there, that are out there, let's say bacterial. We have chlamydia, we have gonorrhea. Okay? Chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. Those are the top three types of bacterial STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. These are things that you can get rid of, but why would you want them anyway? Okay, and then there's the, the ones that you can not get rid of. There's HPV, there's HIV, and there's herpes. Very, very scary. Now, a lot of people are used to cold sores. About 80% of Americans have a cold sore. But the crazy thing is, if you have unprotected oral sex with someone, you could end up giving them genital herpes. Not fun, right? So it's very important that you protect yourself. Does anybody know the three types of condoms that are out there? No. <laughs> Trojan is not a type. No, not Rough Riders. I'm talking about latex, polyurethane, and lambskin. We do not recommend lambskin. Do you know why? It's very porous, which means that STDs can transfer through it. Okay, so then we also have the latex and the polyurethane. You use polyurethane if you're allergic to latex. Okay, now with latex, you know you're allergic if it burns if you use it. Okay, that's a, that's a good way to know. All right, so latex and polyurethane, you can get those free at the University Health Services or at different clinics around the community. Something that you need to know is if somebody has drinking habits. Know somebody, before you, when you start dating someone, it's very important that you see them in different atmospheres. They might show you one person, but then at the end of the day, they might be somebody, somebody different. So what happens is, what you should do is make sure that you take them in different scenarios. Let them be around a group of friends. See how they treat you when they're around others. These are very important. Know how, what, notice what type of questions a person asks you. If they ask you questions like, hey babe, what puts you in the mood? That's only one thing on their mind, right? So you need to find out what are different types of things that they want to know about you. Do they want to know more about you than just the physical? These are very important questions to be with someone. Because at the end of the day, I know no one really wants to be a one night stand. What is it that you truly want out of a relationship? My challenge to you is to write a list of a hundred things to do with someone before having sex. Now some people say that's really hard, but at least that gives you some time to really get to know the person. Does that make sense? Okay, question. Okay. Who here in the audience actually goes home, puts up their leg, and takes a look? Anybody? Okay. You over there. Okay. And one other person over there. So two out of a thousand, fantastic. It's very important that you take a look and know what you look like. Why? Because how embarrassing would it be if you were oozing or bubbling or there was something burning and your partner says, you know, baby, there's something going on out there. You should check that out. Ooh, type of scary, right? Just a little bit. So it's very important to know your body so you can have less of these type of situations. Now, if you end up with a sexually transmitted disease, it has nothing to do with being clean or dirty. If it did, that would mean that if I, you know, rolled around on the floor here and you poured some dirt on me, I could end up with a sexually transmitted disease, but I can't. Or if I took a shower and I got all clean, you know, I'd wash it right off. At the end of the day, having an STD has nothing to do with being clean and dirty. It's all about having the knowledge or not having the knowledge. I'm pretty sure, how, how many of your parents actually sat down with you and told you what an STD was? Or showed you how to put on a condom? 
Probably not. 